Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Now today I'm going to show you how to do this border around the butterfly blanket that we did. Now there's a tutorial for this part of the blanket on my channel. At the end of the video there'll be a little square up here or it'll be up here. There'll be a little square up there that you can click on that'll take you to the, the blanket video. So this video is how to put a border around this type of blanket. A lot of the YouTube videos that for blankets that are on YouTube don't have the borders on the blankets. Most of them is just the actual blanket itself and a lot of mine are like that as well. So hopefully this video will help you to do just a plain basic border around some of the blankets. Now this is a really pretty blanket, so that's why I done just a plain basic sort of border around about it. And this is this side of it. This is what this side looks like because we're working around the post of the stitches to make this kind of rib stitch. You will be able to thread some ribbon around this blanket. So I hope you've given the blanket a little try. If you're watching this, then you probably have and you want to put your border on around the blanket. So I'm going to show you how to do that now. So a few days ago, I showed you how to make this a butterfly blanket. If you haven't seen it yet, if you have a look on my channel, um, you'll see it there. This was made with a red heart pink yarn. I'm going to show you how to put an edge around the blanket. Now I did promise that I will show you how to do a, a border all around your blanket. Now I've got now I've got my size 5 millimeter crochet hook and I'm going to show you how to put a border around this beautiful blanket. So I'm going into my stitch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to work down, I'm going to work along the top of the blanket and then down the sides, along the bottom and up the other side. So this is going to be my corner, these two parts here. Now when you do this butterfly blanket, you're left with quite large loops all around like this. Now I don't know what size that you've made. So what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to work out how many stitches along that you're going to put. I'll show you roughly how many to do and how to do your corners. So into this section, I'm going to put three treble crochets. I'll put one into this little space and then put three here, one into here and three into here. So I'm going to do a yarn over and I'm going to put one, three treble crochets into this space. And that's going to give us the basis for doing our pattern. I might change it, I might put more, I think because it's the corner I'll put four in here. So I've got one, two, three, four in that space. That looks fine. When you're going to put edges around blankets, it's a, a lot of it's visual. I mean, if it looks okay, then that's fine, carry on. If it doesn't look right, if it doesn't look as if it's got enough stitches, take it back and add another one. Or if it's too many, take it back and then do one less. So I'm going to put three in here. That's one, two, and a three and some more yarn off my ball. I'm just going to do a very simple border. Let's see if three is all right. I actually think I might need four in there. So I'll put four in. See how it goes. One into this space and I'll put four into the next space. Oops. One, two, three and four. One into the next space and four into the next. One, two, 
three and four. And we'll have a look and see what it looks like. Now that looks okay, that looks fine, it doesn't look too tight, doesn't look too slack, so that's what we're going to go with. When I get to the corner I'll put a couple of extra in just to get me around the corner for my next row. I'm going to do that all the way down the side to get to the corner and I'll show you what I've done I'll do it at the corner with the, the point part of the butterfly on it. So I'll do that, one into this space, four into here, one into here and four into here, all the way down. To my corner, what I'm going to do is, I've done my four here, I'm going to do one here. Now I've got these two little links here, I'm going to put four in here and four in here. But what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put one in between this one and one in between there. See what it looks like. That's one, two, three, and four. You always need enough stitches to get yourself around a corner when you do this. So I'm going to put a treble crochet in between that one. I'll put a treble crochet in between that one. That should bring me around the corner. Then I'll put four in here. One, two, three, and four. We'll see what it looks like. That looks not too bad. Looks not. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take it back. So don't be afraid when you're doing your borders to take your stitches out and redo them if you're not happy. I've got four in here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put five. See what five looks like. Just on the corner. Next one. One in between here. One in between the next part of that butterfly. And then I'll put five in this side. And this part here going along this next side. One, two, three, four, and five. See what it looks like. There we go, that's better. That's a little bit better. Once we do the next round, it'll even itself up. All of us. I'll even itself up nice and straight. So this is the side. As long as you've got the same number of stitches down this side as you have down that side. And the same number running along the top as you have on the bottom. When you've got a blanket and you're doing a border, it's trial and error. So I know you can see these little sort of bumpy parts, but when we put the next round in, that'll all straighten out and it'll look fine. So I'm going to work my way down here. I'm going to put, what I'll do is, I think I'll put three here, two here, three here, and two here, just to see what it looks like. In the bigger spaces, I'll put three, and in the loop, I'll put two. I'll see what it looks like. And that is how you work out when you're doing sort of blankets with different patterns and you want to put an edge. It's trial and error. One, two, three. Let's see what it looks like if we just jump over to this side and put three. One, two, three. And put two. It might not be enough. And three. It pulls it in too tight. So what we'll do, we'll do our three here. I'm going to put two into here. One and two. And then move to the next space and put three into that space. These spaces are just slightly smaller than the sides, the way the pattern's running. So into there we're going to put three, see what it looks like. You can always take it back 
and add more in. And three. We're going to put. When did I put in there? I put two in there. One and into that little single loop. And two. That looks not too bad. It looks a little tight. So don't be afraid, like I've said already, don't be afraid to take stitches out and put them in. If it looks too many, take it back. If it's not enough, you can just add more in. And that is how you, you work out doing borders for your blanket. So I'm going to do four. We'll do two in this loop. The loop looked okay. And I'm going to put four into this space. Two. Three. And four. So we've got this little space. So we're going to do four into there. One. Two. Three. And four. Put two into that single little loop. One. And two. I don't want to put them in between the butterfly wings here. Because I don't want it to spread out too wide. I want it to keep its shape on there. Then four into the next space. It's working out kind of like we did for the top. That's two, three, and four. And we'll have a look, see what it looks like. That looks better. That looks better. So that's how you work out when you're doing the borders on blankets. Don't be afraid to take it back. Add more, add less. It's up to you until you're happy with it. It's your blanket. So if you're happy with it. So along the top, we did four, one in the space and then four. Down the side, we've ended up doing four, two in the loop and then four. Four in the next big space, two in the loop and then four. So what I'm going to do that all the way down the side, I'm going to do four, two, four, four, two and four. All the way down to this corner. We'll continue with our two, our four, and our four. I'll put one in between here and then do along the top here like we did. This is the bottom. So we'll do the same on the bottom as we did for the top. It will be four, one, four, four, one, four, all the way along like we did for the top of the blanket. So I'll do my four, two, four all the way along the bottom. So that's four in the space, two in that loop, and four in that space, four in that space, two in that loop, and four in that space, all the way down. And I'll come back and show you what it looks like. So I've got myself down to this corner. This is the long edge of the blanket, the long side. And I'm going to be working along the bottom of the blanket. So to get myself around this corner, I've got a butterfly wing here. So I'm in this space, I'll put my four treble crochets. One, two, three and four. Now if you're doing your own blanket, you don't need to do a treble crochet. You can do it with a double crochet as well if you want a smaller stitch. But the little border that I'm putting on, I'm doing it in treble crochets. So I've came to one of the little direct, the little butterfly wings and I'm going to put one in between each of these little trebles that are on here. So I need to get myself around the corner. So I'm going to put four in. When you do this blanket, that all the corners are not the same. The two bottom corners are the same and the top two corners are the same. But because you've got like your little wings, this corner's quite bare on this side. 
That was my chain three. And that was my foundation chain because I'm running along the bottom of the actual blanket. It should be turned around that way like that. That's the bottom. As long as I've got the same amount of stitches on the bottom as I've got on the top, I should be okay. So I'm going to put my four in here. One, two, three, four. I might need to do five. doesn't matter if you've got maybe one extra stitch unless you're doing a pattern it doesn't matter if you've got one extra stitch in a corner somewhere so that looks okay and then I'll move along the bottom so the bottom was four trebles one into the space the small space four into the larger spaces one into the small space and four into the larger spaces all the way along and when I go back up here I'm going to do the same as I did for that other side I'll be just be doing my four when I get into my loop part I'll do the two and all the way up that other side that I've got here so I've worked all the way up and back to the top of my blanket remember we started with the top so into the top of this chain of three, I'm just going to do a slip stitch. Because the blanket is quite, I'm going to say fussy because it's got a really big pattern on it. I'm going to do the border really simple so it doesn't detract from this pretty butterfly sort of flowery type pattern. So I'm going to chain three, one, two and three. And I'm going to do what's called a front post stitch on all of these trebles all the way around the blanket. So I'm going to put my yarn over and I'm going to go behind that stitch. I'll have the stitch at the front of my hook and just bring it through and do your treble. So this is a front post treble crochet. If you're in America, it will be a front post double crochet all the way along one into each stitch one behind each stitch so just work around the post of the stitch go right around the back of it so we're working around that long part here just go behind it and it's going to leave just a really nice border so I'm going to do two rows I'll go round once and then round again and I'll come back and show you what it's like now it's like when I told you about the border it's trial and error and we'll see what it like it's like going around the corner I might have to put a little increase put two into one here go around it twice just to add in an extra stitch to get me round I'll see what it looks like and I'll come back and I'll show you once I've done another two rounds of doing this front post treble crochet. It's looking pretty already. I hope you can see this. I've got the sun. You can see this patch here. I've got the sunshine beating right in the window and I've, had to, I've actually had to close my blinds. Now I've done my border. What I ended up doing was I ended up doing five rows. But look at this. This is a really pretty, pretty border with that back post stitch. It's nice and soft as well and it doesn't take away from the pattern on the blanket sometimes if your borders are too fancy it's it's too much of a mu muchness if you know what i mean it's too it's too busy and there's just too much pattern so sometimes when you've got a plane inside of the blanket and a really fancy border or a really fancy blanket like this and just a plain border makes all the difference and this is how my corners turned out my corners turned out really well. This is what the back of that looks like. 
That's the back of the blanket and the back of the border. It's really pretty. But if you've got this sitting on the top of a brand new pram, look how pretty that is. You can weave some lace around. And look at this. It's a beautiful, beautiful blanket. This is a really pretty stitch, this butterfly stitch. And look at that. Beautiful once it goes on the top of a brand new baby pram or the top of a Moses basket or even if you make these bigger you can put them in the cot and they're, they're lovely. So with this video was on how you can pick up your stitches for your border and the other video, there is another video with this actual pattern in it. So if you just go and have a look, if you look up here at the very end when this video is finished, there'll be a little link to this part of the blanket. Give it a try. It's beautiful. Give it a try. So thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Just click on that subscribe button down there. And if you click on the notification bell, YouTube will notify you when I put up another video. So until the next time, happy crafting. And I hope to see you all again soon. Goodbye.